when the decision is made to do a total knee a, a knee replacement, years ago there was only one decision. It was the total knee replacement. And if I show you on a model of the knee, uh, I took the kneecap out of the way so we could see internally. This is the thigh bone and this is the leg bone and the blue is the joint cartilage and that material is damaged. Well, the surgery for a total knee replacement removes this cartilage and some of the underlying bone and removes this blue cartilage and some of the underlying bone and replaces it with combinations of metal and plastic and there are some ceramics that are used. Uh, and these things are inert, they have no nerves, they have no feeling, so it relieves the pain. The bilateral knee, total knee replacement basically is what it says. Both knees are artificially replaced, the total joint replaced, at the same time. There are pros and cons. Um, some patients want to get the surgery over, just one surgery. Some patients, their health is not the greatest, and we don't know what it'll be six or eight or ten weeks from now if we did just one side and then the other. So those are reasons to do them both at the same time. Uh, the rehabilitation is more difficult and the patient is a lot more dependent after the bilateral. So it can be done, it is done, we all do it, I've done it many, many times, and the decision to do it is really a team decision among the doctor, the patient, family, nursing home, and other healthcare providers, physical therapy and, and those. During the operation, I use devices to make very critical, very precise measurements to select the proper size of implants, the proper angles of cut, and these things need to be very precise because the better they are and the better we do measuring and selecting, the longer the prosthesis will last because there's a tighter and a better fit and we don't have as many long-term problems with loosening and structural problems. Replacement of the kneecap uh, is an individual choice and there is no final answer yet on whether it should or should not be replaced. When is surgery done? It's done when all the things that I can do for the patient non-surgically have failed to relieve the patient's pain and at that point the patient said, I don't want to live like this, I want relief and that's when we consider surgery.